The Dutch Don't Dance division is back at the Beach Pavilion de Foot with their mini festival called Solo at the Sea. Against the beautiful backdrop of the North Sea, this year's combination of dance and music is billed as a celebration of five years of presenting these solo dance performances by the sea. I caught up with the busy duo Tom Stewart and Rena Sprong, the originators of this performance, to find out more. First, I, I just want to say, wow, such a professional show. The dancers were incredible, a captivating performance. Something for everyone, you know? Humor, sadness, passion, and even a little fear. Yeah. <laughs> How was it that you came up with this concept of solo at the sea? Well, we did a few performances here before, uh, and then all of a sudden we thought this is such a beautiful setting. It's like the Panorama Mesdag, you know, it's a painting, it's, and every time it changes. And we thought, if you have a solo, you really have to prove that you're a strong performer against the power of nature. And this is billed as an anniversary edition, sort of taking the best of performances. We choose from all these five years, we choose the best solos or the solos that people remember the most. Tom, how does it feel to revive some of your favorite solo performances for this special edition? I'm really happy because there are three pieces of mine in this program and they're all three very different. It was really interesting for me because a new cast brings something new, like the girl that did come here often, Noortje, is very different from the original cast. But especially um, Company, the solo that Yuri did, I created for a woman and, and three other women did it, never a man. This was the first time that a man danced this solo, so I always wanted to do that. I was very curious how it would look, but I think they're different enough to make it to an interesting variety on the evening. Marina, is there a way that you could describe some of the performances for us? There is a beautiful, beautiful pianist who just graduated cum laude from the Royal Conservatory who plays something from his coach. Uh, a wonderful piece that really makes you land on the ground after you, you came to here to the beach pavilion. Then there is an actress who lost her way. She lands up here in the beach pavilion. She's like trying to find her way through her life. And then there is one body that is half in the ground on the beach, which dances on the music from uh, Henry Purcell and an aria from Henry Purcell's opera. And he moves only with the upper body. Then there is a beautiful, beautiful dancer that stands on the sand and she dances in the wind. Sometimes there is rain or sometimes there's sunshine. There is a beautiful quartet written by uh, Philip Glass and uh, that is cut up in four pieces done by Yuri, which is a fabulous dancer. He's almost nude on stage, you can say. Incredible body, incredible technique. And then there is a quite an aggressive guy who dances modern solo and yeah, they all blend. Yuri, your performance was brilliant this evening. What is it like to perform for a solo performance? Uh, it's really nice to do this for on stage. The people here, they can really see you, they can smell you. It's very nice to do this also for Tom. Uh, he based his choreography on a few sentences of Samuel Beckett. It's really nice to do and it's just a very unique choreography and place to be. And what do you think the audience's uh, reactions for this? It's a very unique place for the audience. Here you can go inside, outside, you see people jumping off the containers. And uh, for example, in a the theater you don't have that. You, you see people leaving in the wings and uh, then they're gone. Now you see people running to the sea, you see them going outdoors, indoors, and uh, it's very different. It's a very special place. Marina, you really do use the surroundings of this beautiful beach area. It must be different each night depending on the environment. Yeah, it's, it's incredible because like tonight it's quite grey but that uh, is beautiful because then the dancer who's outside in the light of the spot is, is recaptured in like a fairy tale light. Uh, sometimes it is a beautiful sunset, sometimes the horses pass by galloping, sometimes there's a dog sniffing at the windows and that attracts the people but every time the, the set is live set. It's it's nature, it's people, it's yeah, it's wonderful. And then as a performer you have to stand up against that. Do you come here often? Do you come here often? Do you come here often? Do we go to schools together? Are there any advantages or disadvantages in dancing in a solo? 
uh, of course, you're the only one that can that have to capture the audience. You're the only one that has to stand on your leg or hit your high note if you're singing or remember your text when you are doing in uh, a, a monologue. So um, yeah, there is some disadvantage, but the advantage is that. You know, you don't have to be together with somebody. You can do whatever you want. You really can can put your own stamp on it, your footprint. Give us an idea of what people can expect when they're coming. Yeah, it's not really like a, a normal dinner show. It is a show you come around about 7 o'clock, uh, you drink your uh, wine or whatever you want to drink or your cup of tea, and then you're going to sit down, you get your uh, starter. After the starter, we have like an intermission leading into the show a little bit already with music. And then after that, you have your uh, main course. Then you go to watch the show. You stay all inside, dry, warm. And outside or inside, all the things happen. And then afterwards, after the show, you get your dessert and you go back into the into the restaurant it's extremely creative performances and I think anyone would be very lucky to come and get a glimpse of it but it's not on for that long we go on until the first of June and uh, the next performances are coming up on 22nd 23rd 30th and then 31st, and then Friday, June the 1st, is the last one. Thank you very much. Take the opportunity while you can and come and see these very powerful and eclectic performances here at Defoot. For more information and reservations, go to their email at info at defoot, that's D-E-F-U-U-T dot N-L. I'm Rob Barsoni reporting for Dutch Buzz.